I am a Donald Trump cultist. I am a soldier for Donald Trump. I am part of, I serve at the personal pleasure of Donald Trump, my supreme leader. I am the Praetorian Guard of Donald Trump. If Donald Trump ordered me to do an extrajudicial killing, I would perform it. This guy. <laughs> you just watched self-avowed white supremacist Nick Fuentes state that he would commit murder on Donald Trump's behalf. That's especially appalling when you consider Trump knows Fuentes having dined with him in 2022. But of course, has yet to condemn Fuentes' comments because expecting the tiniest modicum of decency from the orange menace coming to ruin our democracy and our dreams is expecting too much. We'll get to more on the history between Trump and Fuentes in a moment. But first, let's watch more of Fuentes' super chill, reasonable remarks. If he sent me somewhere and said, look, we need to torture Hillary Clinton. Theoretically, I wouldn't obviously do that on my own volition. But if Donald Trump won the election and Donald Trump called me on a secret burner phone and he said, look, we have to capture and no, nah, no, we can't go there. We actually can't go, we actually can't go there. But if Donald Trump called me up and said, look, we need to capture my political enemies and torture them, you're okay with that, right? This is totally off the books. This is a black op. If he called me up and told me to do it, I would I would be like, sir, yeah, yes, Mr. I wouldn't even say yes, Mr. President. I would say it will be done. I would say it will be done, Supreme Leader. <laughs> I would say something. I would say something like that. I wouldn't even say. I wouldn't even say yes, sir. I would say it will be. <laughs> I would say it will be done, Supreme Leader. I would be like it will be done, Supreme Leader Trump. <laughs> it would be something like that. Yeah, that was him hiling Hitler uh, while laughing and making it seem like a big joke. Those were from Monday night during very unique coverage of the Iowa caucuses. You only get that kind of coverage from Nick Fuentes. Um, and uh, the violence he'd like to do for his supreme leader, very entertaining to him. You might be thinking to yourself, how could anyone possibly defend those comments? But don't worry, it was actually all a complete joke. Listen to him back talk it when he realizes what he just said. No, I'm kidding, 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 kidding. Dude, listen, we're just having fun with it, okay? You can't hate. You can't hate on me because it's just this is just a little bit of parody. We're just having fun with it. It's all jokes. Don't worry. I'm just kidding, okay? That's all a joke. Before everybody gets on my he Nazi saluted. It's just a joke. It's just like, hey, what if? It's just a joke. What a great joke. I'm a comedian and I am so jealous of the joke writing <laughs> skills he's got. Uh, and then you notice after he says it's a joke, he says it's just a what if. So it's not a joke, it's your dream ideal scenario of the future that you're then for legal reasons saying is a joke. Um, as we mentioned up top, uh, Trump's very familiar with Fuentes, we'll get more on that in a minute. But first, I would love to hear your commentary, Jane. Yeah, so first of all, it's like, look, you all got eyes and ears, you just saw it, you can make your own decision. But if you think that it, he wasn't just trying to protect himself legally, which he has to do, otherwise he's gonna get kicked off the platforms, mm -hmm. right? And you thought, and this is a guy, if you don't know the context, says that what Hitler did was great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's not a, uh, it's calling him a Nazi is not hyperbolic, it's literal. And he doesn't mind. So, uh, so when he says, "Oh, I'd love to be the Praetorian Guard and execute people on behalf of the dear leader," well, that yeah, that's what Nazis do. And so, and that's how the brown shirt started. And if you think, well, look, uh, they're not really going to do it. That's exactly what they thought in Germany. So that's again not hyperbole. That actually happened, and and people said they were going to do it, and people didn't believe them. And so in, in this case, I'd be surprised if in Germany they were clearer than this. They're saying we're going to go kill our, or Fuentes is saying we're gonna go kill our opponents. Trump, Trump has said that he might be a, a, a dictator. We went and asked Trump fans in a Trump rally in Iowa. 10 out of 10 said they would prefer him to be dictator than Biden to be president. 41% of Republicans say it's time for violence. So you know you could take it lightly, but then if he wins, oops, too late. If it turns out they were serious, there's nothing you could do about it. Too late, okay? So and and then is Trump connected? I mean, Ben's got more details, but he had dinner with the guy. He had dinner with two guys who have praised Hitler and the Nazis. I mean, this is 
MAGA, I mean, if the, the end of MAGA that is hopeless, they probably celebrate, I guess. I don't know, you tell me, you tell me. I wouldn't support a guy who had dinner with Nazis and has never apologized for it. But I guess some portion of MAGA thinks that's awesome. Oh, You guys are so freaking cool, you like <laughs> Nazis. Jesus Christ, man, the situation we're in. So, but for the rest of the Republicans, what's your excuse? So, okay, if you say, well, okay, you know, he had dinner, but he didn't know he was a Nazi and he didn't know Kanye was a Nazi, even though they've said that, and he just accidentally stumbled into a dinner with Nazis. Okay, then why don't you condemn him? I mean, now he's saying, I'm gonna kill political opponents. It's the, it's the, like it's beyond the bare minimum. It's the smallest thing you could possibly ask for. Can you please condemn the Nazi you had dinner with? But Trump wants it and he loves it. He's never condemned him. He's not gonna condemn him because he doesn't mind. So if you can't see that Trump's a fascist, you're trying super hard not to see it.